Hello everyone, Minsin Chan here. Recently, we took a look at some of APC's products, namely the Surge Protector, Automatic Voltage Regulator or AVR, and also an Uninterruptible Power Supply or UPS. One thing you will quickly realize is that they all share some similarities but are actually quite different in terms of function. Confused yet? Well, in today's video, we will be going into which device you should get to solve your power issues. But before we go any deeper, I think the names of these devices are pretty self-explanatory. A surge protector protects against surges, an AVR regulates the voltage delivered to the connected devices, and a UPS ensures that you have an uninterruptible power supply. So, a surge protector's sole function is to prevent power surges from the mains from reaching the devices connected to it. How it does this is with the metal oxide resistor, which has a lower resistance at higher voltages, making it perfect for this application. The MOE links the live wire to the ground wire, and during normal operation, as you may know, the MOE has high resistance, so power doesn't flow through it. But when a surge occurs, the voltage will be higher than the normal voltage, and thus the MOE will exhibit a lower resistance, and can then channel the surge into the ground wire, avoiding the surge from reaching the connected devices. Surge protectors are rated with a Joule rating number. The higher the number, the better, as you might know. The APC Surge RS5 is rated for 918 Joules, which means that it can last longer in use when dissipating smaller spikes. Another rating to note is the maximum surge current, which indicates the maximum current it can withstand before failing. A lightning-based surge can exceed 20,000 amps, while the APC Surge RS5 here is rated for 36 kilo amps, so you are pretty well set in the area. Since Malaysia is a country with a lot of rain and thus also quite a lot of lightning storms, a surge protector is pretty much a necessity to prevent expensive devices from being damaged by a lightning surge. So with that out of the way, let's look at the AVR. In AVR, it can be considered the next step up. It also has surge protection capabilities, although it is to a much more limited degree. For example, the APC Line R1000VA AVR we checked out here is rated at 114 joules, which is definitely a far cry from the 918 joules that the APC Surge RS5 is rated for. The main function of an AVR is to tackle unstable voltage though, as it is capable of compensating for voltage dips as well as abnormally high voltage from the wall. So the easiest way to notice unstable voltage in your home is a dip in the brightness of the lights when you turn on high-powered appliances like the air conditioner or refrigerator. A voltage dip won't cause immediate damage, but it might shorten the lifespan of your devices. Or you might notice crashes and BSODs on your PC when the voltage dips below a certain threshold that your PSU can't compensate for. The APC Line R1000 VA AVR we checked out here can normalize the voltage from the wall ranging from 193 volts to 295 volts, normalizing it to 240 volts that our devices are designed for here in Malaysia. So aside from the voltage range, another thing to take note of is the VA rating. The VA rating indicates the maximum total power draw that the AVR can support. The rule of thumb is to multiply the VA number by 0.6 to get a value in watts which is a lot easier to understand for most of us. The APC Line R1000 VA here is rated for 500 watts, so the total power draw of the connected devices must not exceed 500 watts. So we have talked about the surge protectors as well as the AVRs, so when will you need a UPS? As the name implies, it gives you an uninterruptible power supply. It offers the capabilities of an AVR2, which is to adjust for voltage irregularities, in addition to a battery to provide backup power when you suffer a blackout in your area. The APC BV500 IMS here can handle a voltage range of 170 volts to 20 volts and can even switch to battery mode to protect your devices by isolating them from the wall. A UPS is also rated with a VA rating and the same rule of thumb applies. VA number multiplied by 0.6 to get the maximum power draw in watts. The UPS we have here is rated for 500 VA or 300 watts. Another thing to note is to make sure that you get the UPS that can give you the runtime you require. For example, the APC BB500 IMS is capable of sustaining a 240 watt load for about 30 seconds. For a quick guide, you can also use the APC UPS selector on the website to help you choose a UPS that suits your needs. So to recap, a surge protector is to protect you from power surges, an AVR is to solve voltage instability and an UPS will help you handle blackouts better. I hope by now you know whether you need a surge protector, AVR or a UPS. If you have any questions or other tips, feel free to drop them in the comment section. We thank you guys for watching our videos and as usual, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.